Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kishon. I'm a physician assistant uh, who has been practicing in medicine for over seven years now. And I got the opportunity to come to the city today um, to a prestigious hospital here. I was able to meet with a few people in the Department of Neurosurgery and I wanted to share that experience with all of you. So recently I got a call uh, from one of the chief neurosurgery physician assistant uh, regarding an interview and she interviewed me, asked me a lot of questions about my past experiences and what I was looking for. I was also able to ask a lot of questions regarding the Department of Neurosurgery. I have never worked in neurosurgery before and I was very interested because it's a new department and I have never worked before and I was very interested to learn about it and uh, I liked the surgical aspect of it as well as like post-surgical aspect of it. So. I wanted to know how the department would work and I wanted to just share with you all that experience. So after the phone call, which was like about a week ago, and at the end of the phone call she asked me would you like to come and see the Department of Neurosurgery and meet with the rest of the team and I said absolutely. And uh, that's how I decided to come here today and I met with the other five APPs. APP is Advanced Practice Provider and they could be either nurse practitioner or a physician assistant. So in this specific department, they already had like two NPs or nurse practitioners and two PAs or physician assistants, and they were looking to hire a fifth person. And therefore they called me and I, was, I had the pleasure to talk with all of them and it was a really good experience. I got to know more about the field, how it works, what are our roles as a PA or an NP. And there's also neurosurgery residents working in this particular place. So it's a mix of working with attending surgeons and then neurosurgical residents and then also the APPs or advanced practice providers. So they were very helpful people like they enjoy working here. That was something I was looking for. Like I like the fact that I'm working in a department where the employees enjoy being there and uh, they feel like they're doing a um, really good job. It's very hard working because you can have like 25 to 35 patients that you might be seeing in a day. You carry the pager, you might be doing a consult in, an, in the ICU or doing an ER admission. But it's very fulfilling because as a PA, I always want to do like a little bit of surgical aspect also. So there will be a little bit of aspects of doing like dressing changes, discharging, admitting patients, managing ICU. So it's a mix of ICU and also managing step down units. So step down unit is an intermediate uh, unit that comes in between uh, the regular surgical floor and the ICU. So ICU will be the most highly complicated or critical patients. And then after that comes the step down and after that comes the regular uh, medical surgical or surgical unit. So here in this department, PAs and NPs, they manage the ICU, the step down unit, as well as the regular floors. So it was a good experience. Um, I liked the fact that everyone was very cheerful and team player and they all enjoyed being there and they were very welcoming. They asked me a few questions like what were my previous experiences and um, they asked me about explaining a few challenges that I had at my work previously, which I did explain to them like sometimes multitasking is a little bit difficult or if you have a patient that you're managing and suddenly you have a code blue or a, uh, another patient that's coding, then you would have to manage them as well. So it was good to like understand and learn how this specific department works. I did not get a chance to meet the residents or the uh, surgeons yet, but I would think that if they are interested, then they would call me back. Currently, they are also interviewing other people, so they, they told me that within the next week or two weeks, they would let me know um, if they decide to hire me or not. So yeah, it was very nice. Um, it was a change because I never, I've never worked in a neurosurgical field before, so I thought I would share this experience with you all. So a few things I thought that, meanwhile, while I was making this video, are like some tips for an interview purpose. Like if you are going for an interview, especially as a PA, or any medical professional, it's good to know a few um, questions or be prepared with a few questions like, to ask them about the department, how it functions. Also be prepared to answer a few questions that they might ask. A few of the questions that I've noticed in a lot of the interviews 
from my previous experiences most of the time they might ask you about one of your weakness that's a very common question that you have to be prepared like um, you, they can ask you what is your weakness uh, name a challenge that you had previous uh, in your previous work how would you manage uh, if you have a difficult boss um, also um, name a situation that you would never forget uh, what are your strengths so always be prepared you know to answer similar these kind of questions and let me know in the comment below if you had any similar experiences or if you would like to know any more information about interview tips or um, if you have been uh, recently had any interviews or if you have worked in a neurosurgical field before please let me know in the comments below and also let me know what kind of videos would you like to see in the future so thank you once again for watching my video and hope you all have a good day and may god bless you take care